How to measure your art. Use a ruler or measuring tape that uses inches. The more rigid, the better, to ensure the most accurate edge-to-edge -edge reading. For the most precise reading, we recommend using a ruler that has 15 lines between each inch. Pro tip, use an easy read ruler for a foolproof way to get your incremental measurements right. Making sure you start from the zero point, line it up to the left edge of your art, going all the way to the right edge. Note the most precise measurement. This is your width. Now, line up your zero point to the top edge and go all the way to the bottom edge, noting the most precise measurement. This is your height. Need some help measuring the finer measurements of your ruler? Don't sweat it. We've got some tips. First, make sure you're measuring in inches, not centimeters. For every inch, there are often 15 smaller markers in between to signify 1 16th inch increments. Though note that some rulers for measuring tapes may have more or less, depending on the level of precision. For rulers that measure in 1 16th increments, the longest halfway mark will be the half inch mark, half of that will be a quarter inch mark, half of that will be an eighth inch mark, and half of that will be a 16th inch mark. Most rulers and measuring tapes indicate these increments with varying line heights. The longer the line, the larger the increment. When measuring your art, you'll want to measure as close as possible to one of these incremental lines to get that perfect fit. When it comes to framing, there are a few key frame-related measurements you'll want to be familiar with. First is the art size. This is the size of your art itself before it gets added to the frame. Note, we build your frame around your art, so the outer frame size will always be larger than your art size. Pro tip, even if your artwork or your artist claims it to be a certain size, you should always measure it yourself to confirm. Next, we have the outer frame size. This is the total size of your frame, including any matting, plus the thickness of your frame style. Basically, how much space it will take up on your wall. Another important mention is what we call the quarter inch overlap. To keep your art from falling through the frame opening, we automatically add a quarter inch overlap to the art size you input. This means your art will be covered by a quarter inch on each side, which is usually only noteworthy if you have important details near the edge of your art. Without any sort of overlap, your art would fall right through the frame. Next up is the frame thickness. This is the size of the visible surface on the face of the frame. In other words, this is how thick or thin each side will appear when you look at it straight on. And lastly, we have our frame depth. This is the size of the frame from front to back, or how deep your frame is. This will tell you how far the frame will come off the wall. We hope these tips will make you feel more confident when it comes to measuring your art for framing. Visit frameiteasy.com for more.